what's up? I'm Alexis Me, I'm a Jane on Nama Jane TV, and I'm, we are here to do to continue the marathon of you know K-pop December. So yeah, we're back with that. So <clears throat> excuse me. So we are back to do a K-pop group called D Crunch. There. Okay. So yeah. And it, the song is called Are You Ready? So the reason why I'm going to re react to D Crunch, I know that for those who don't know, it was in news a couple months back. I really defend this group. I really think this group do not deserve all that mistreatment, what happened to them. I felt bad for them. It shouldn't be happened that way. And if I was the company, I wouldn't even bother to even go back to that country. If that country is that close-minded on how someone looks and how they dress and they think because uh, I mean they they they, they cancelled their show because they thought these people thought these guys these poor kids were gay and when I mean gay that these boys actually like boys which wasn't even true and I don't think it was true no one even said anything about being gay but it's just this country is because it's so so Islamic, you know. Yeah, it's Islamic. It's just those Islamic countries. It's just it's very difficult. And I know some people are trying to say, oh, but they should be. They should know better. They they won't know any better because their culture is so. It's just so uptight, and it's not good. I mean. If it was in America, like I said this to people, if it was in America or if it was in, um, what's it called, in Australia or here in the UK or some parts of Europe, like say for example France and Belgium and Spain, is more, and, and you know, and Italy and other countries like Germany, they're going to be more open-minded about homosexuality and how, and not just homosexuality, just people in general and how they look and how they they appear and dress so without any labels of just because someone dresses a certain way a guy dresses a certain way they're gay that makes no sense what is gay what is to dress gay that's that's the question i want to ask you what considers the person to be gay and i mean not just by their clothing and how and that they take a shower or they keep themselves clean Or even they're quite flamboyant. That doesn't mean they're gay. It's just part of their personality. So we're going to give D Crunch an amazing love. For those who don't know, I know armies, armies, please show this group some love. Oh, everyone, every fandom in every every single fandom from different groups that you love in K-pop, K-pop fans around whoever, whatever fandom you're in. Go show some love to this group because I think they're one of those groups that really deserve so much love. Sorry, I'm just always fixing my ears. So, we're going to do the crunch. Are you ready? In 3, 2, 1, go, go. I like the vibe. Doesn't it got it gave me a bit of back in back in it like back at the you know the old school K-pop when you know every K-pop group did a comeback or some of them even debuted, especially BTS, had that kind of well not exactly not BTS because BTS was much crinier than I can remember. Uh who what groups that actually there was a lot of groups that had had the sound back in like 2012 and 2013 and 14. Oh my goodness, this is giving me old school vibes. Like between 2011 as well, like 2010 and 9. That's how it sounded back then. It's just, oh, I love it. And can I ask a question? Do you see gay? Muslim? Please be. Oh my god, never mind. I'm not, I'm not going to just say just all of you are like this. I know, I just, please educate yourselves 
or someone educate them because they they made up of themselves look stupid. But literally, oh he's cute. I don't know your name with the silver hair. Oh he's oh he is he the one? They're very handsome. They're very good looking men. I love the one with the silver hair. He's cute. I love their outfit as well. He's very handsome. Killer looks a little bit like. I don't know who he looks like. Yonje? A little bit? Like from God 7? <laughs> oh, he looks a little younger version. Just He looks a tad bit like Jackson. A little bit. Just a tea bit. Oh god, Jesus. The silver hair guy is cute. They're very handsome, I'm not gonna lie, but the one with the, the really like bright silver hair, like, it's very, it's taking over my screen. Oh, he's, oh, I love it! They're so cute! They deserve so much love. They really do. came out I think they they're getting love right now for a split second he looked a bit like jumping on that that was a bit like my heart literally just just clenched for a bit it felt like his spirit just went in that that boy and just literally just took over he like silvery but slightly darker silver you've got the bright silver this guy over here bruh bruh get off my screen uh Oh my god, you already know. <laughs> I love it. See? See? I. You! Bruh! I think I got my bias. I don't know his name. But I, I just call him like really silver hair. When I mean like silver hair, it's like really bright. I don't know if it's purple, but it looks silver to me. It looks like white. 100% white. And he. Mm -mm, nope. I, I got, do not have time for you. I mean, the rest are cute. The rest of them are just adorable. They have some of like baby. I don't know if it's me. They do remind me of a particular group that I got to love, and they they it, it, it's, it changed so much. I love it. Ah, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, guys, for my? I actually like this group. <laughs> this is definitely a 10 out of 10. I actually really like this group, even though they knew. I really enjoy the energy. They do give me of old school vibes of K-pop, like from 2010 or 2009 to 2014. Those were the those were the glory days in K-pop. I really miss those days. I actually kind of do miss them because you got. I used to react so many K-pop groups, or discover K-pop groups that were such. And to me, is iconic and it's just just different and it's just the energy they give out. It's just great, and they do. There was one particular group that kind of just gave me some oomph to it a little bit was Top Dog. I don't know for you guys who are new to K-pop, if you don't know who Top Dog is, don't worry because I changed the names of the group. The group is, the, the group is no longer called Top Dog, I think it's called... What's it called? Is it called... Zero something? I don't remember the name, but they did change the name and it did start out as 13 members and then gradually throughout, throughout the, the couple of years, one by one or two left the group. 
And I was like devastated. I was like, no. But anyways, I really enjoyed it. It was a 10 out of 10 for me. I really enjoyed the energy. I'm looking forward to seeing more of them in the future. I, I can tell that this group has potential. I can see this group has potential, just like BTS. Just like BTS and Seventeen, they they start out with so much potential, and they just go on bigger and bigger and bigger. And I can see D Crunch succeeding, a lot of success. That's that's what I think, and I really hope for the best for this group for next year. And yeah, that's all I want to say. So I love you all, and you're and everyone, and Sarang Hill.